Now going back to first grade, we learned how to compare numbers to see which one's greater than, less than, or equal to. And we know how to do it using the signs. When you were younger, we called it the hungry alligator game. Because the alligator wanted to eat that bigger number. And that was cool. Okay? But back then, we were only doing it with numbers that had digits in the ones and tens places. 34 and 26. 8 and 3. When we have numbers like these that go all the way up into the millions, we have more steps we have to go through. You can't just look and say, oh, that's it. I know what that is. Okay? Because if you do, you might make mistakes more often than not. So we're going to have about two or three steps to go through to figure out which one is greater than or less than or if they're equal in this, in this, in this problem. Okay, step one is see which number has digits in the higher place value spot. Okay. So see which number has digits in the higher place value spot. Because let's see, watch, I'm, I'm going to show you something real quick. What if I had 304 and 96. I already know this one's greater because it has ones that go all the way to the hundreds place and this one only has ones that go to the 10. So even though 9 and 6 are bigger than 3 and 0 and 4, this one has a number in a, in a higher place value spot. Okay, so it's easy. Okay. But a number that's big like this, we have to look. What's the highest place value in this number right here? What is it? Justin. Um. It goes all the way up to the what place? Hmm, Dominic. The millions? The millions. Well, now let's look at this one. It goes all the way up to the what, Tony? The millions. They both go to the millions, don't they? So can we figure it out just by using step one? No, we can't. It'd be nice if we could, but in this one, that's not going to happen. Okay? So let's go to step two. Start with... the highest place value <coughs> and compare <coughs> numbers until one is different. Okay? So I'm going to start with my millions. What numbers in the millions place on this one? Show me on your fingers. Okay? What about this one? Which one's in the millions spot? Show me. Yep. They're both one, aren't they? So are any of them different? Yeah. No. So let's go to the next one. The next one is our hundred thousands. Is either of them different on this one? No. They're both what? Same. And what? Yeah, they're both the same. They're both twos. So we got to keep going. Which digit is this one? They're both what? They're both Five. fives. Is one of them different? 
So right now, the numbers are, are the same. So I gotta go down to the thousands place. Wait. Six and four. Hmm. Are they different or are they the same? They're different. So, once we find one that's different, we then put in the less than, greater than, or equal to sign. So, is 100 or 1,256,031 greater than, less than, or equal to 1,254,904? Chloe, it's greater than because once we got to the 10, let me use a different color so we can see. Once we got to this 10,000s place, they were different. And this number was larger. So we use the greater than sign. Or the hungry alligator wants to eat that bigger number because it has a six in the hundred, ten thousands, thousands place instead of a four. Okay? So it's the same concept that you've done since all the way back in first grade, but we're adding more numbers. When you add more numbers, you have to look really carefully each time at each different place value. Okay? Who could tell me what would happen if we checked the millions, the hundred thousands, the ten thousands, the thousands, the hundreds, the tens and the ones, and there was nothing different on any of those digits? What sign would go in the box? What, what's that called? Equal to, yeah, the two lines, equal to, okay? All right.